hi hello um, in this video what we are going to see is how to create um, azure ad uh, dynamic device groups okay so um, tutorial purpose i have create already created uh, um, three uh, three device uh, dynamic device groups in azure ad so this uh, these groups can be used um, in intune uh, to target um, the policies, security policies, and configuration policies in Intune uh, to a, a set of or group of devices. And um, if you are if you are very familiar with SCM, uh, kind of um, dynamic collection and uh, similar to that. So, so in Intune world and or modern modern device management world, um, we uh, we should uh, we should use. Um, uh, Azure AD dynamic uh, device groups or uh, dynamic user groups to target policies and applications. Okay, so so it it is it is very uh, straightforward. Um, so I just wanted to uh, show uh, my uh, Windows devices um, query. So I will just go through it. Okay, here we go. So, um, so if you go to uh, dynamic membership role, uh, you can see uh, there are uh, there are two types of membership rules. Um, one is simple rule, and the other one is advanced rule. So, simple rule is uh, for uh, simple uh, queries and simple kind of uh, dynamic device um, device collections in Azure AD. So, so first, uh, first field is um, add device where. So that is attribute. Um, so uh, in this case, I have selected the device OS um, OS type, and um, and um, there are other attributes also. If you have some other requirement, you can select that. Okay, and um, uh, the the second um, column is uh, uh, operator selected contain actually. Okay, and the third one is uh, constant. So you can uh, you can edit this and you can change it as per your requirement. If you are uh, looking out for iOS devices or Android devices, you can write um, Android over here. Okay, so so that is um, that is Windows devices. And if you go to the advanced rule, you can see like uh, this is the actual query. Um, which we configured of um, uh, configured in simple rule. Okay, so going back to going back to main, and I will show you the iOS devices. Um, um, so in iOS devices, um, membership rule, dynamic membership rule. You can see. Um, you can see it's uh, it's not a very um, uh, simple uh, rule it's advanced rule because like I have two constant values uh, in there uh, one is iPad the other one is iPhone okay so if you go to simple rule uh, so uh, there's nothing actually so uh, everything is configured in advanced rule so if you have more than one constant value then then uh, probably mm, it is it is better idea to use uh, advanced rules okay mm, so that is ios and android is similar to windows mm, so okay come on okay so it's it's simple rule again so uh, similar to uh, win, uh, windows as i mentioned uh, device os type contains uh, contains in operator device os type is attribute actually uh, and android android is the constant value okay so if you go to advanced rules you can see the same thing okay so that is it for today thank you for watching